This nigga. <clears throat> Alright, man. What's up, y'all? This one come from a different angle. But the Trey F shit, man. This shit is crazy. I've seen so many videos on both sides of the situation. People that say he's stupid for doing what he's doing. And people that saying he was right for doing what he's doing. Let's get the little shit out the way. We know how New York gun laws is. We seen Lil Wayne go down and it wasn't even his his pistol. And you see what happened to him, Ja Rule, so many others. So off bat, just for having a gun, he getting at least two to three. Right? But the whole situation, they making fun of it, saying that he plaxico himself, that he shoot himself. Who knows? We don't know everything about the situation. Let's just look at it from a perspective of streets. Right? So for everybody that's not in the streets, not with the bullshit, this part ain't for y'all. The niggas that's in the streets, right? Y'all street niggas, y'all know what it is. You know what I mean? So let's look at Troy Ave from his rap career perspective first. We know what he talk about, the content of his music, you know, and is was he d drug dealing? Was he about that life? Whatever the case may be. Fans of hip hop always use this one thing where you have rappers that rap about a lot of shit, which we can name a bunch of them niggas in their music that said certain shit, but when shit happened, nothing happened. So we'll leave that alone. But far as what Troy Ave says in his music, you know, far as the streets go, you know, did he live up to, I guess, an image? You know, was he feeling like he had to be tough? Right? So we look at that as an issue that, quote unquote, he had with Mayno or whatever the case may be, blah, 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 and his bodyguard had got shot. So basically he shot back and, you know, it's defensive fire, whatever you want to call it. Now being a nigga in the streets, you somewhere with your dog, you know what I mean? Y'all somewhere, you already know the situation to where it can be a problem if you run across certain people. So y'all see them. Whatever, whatever, words get exchanged, boom, gunfire, bam, your boy get hit. Now, as a street nigga, no matter where you at, if it's an environment in the streets or an environment where it's innocent lives there, do you let it go? So, basically, from what we understanding is, an issue happened, a gun battle happened, and Troy Ave is seen on camera letting it go. And from a street nigga's perspective, I'm not a street nigga, I wouldn't know. But if your dog got hit, and you got it on you, and you know it's tension with certain people, no matter where you at, it's on site, would you let it go? If your boy got hit, he's sitting there, he got hit, he ain't getting up, he bleeding, he ain't, you know what I mean? You don't know if he's breathing or not, but you got it on you. Is you going to defend your dog and hold him down and let it go, or no? So that's one way of people looking at the situation. Now let's look on the other, other side of everyday citizens. They feel like Troy Ave was stupid for doing that. In a, um situation where it's a business I, I heard live nation owns that place that they was at or whatever so in their response is trap is stupid he was dumb he should have known better um from my personal understanding if i'm somewhere buying some sneakers or something and i see niggas you know what i mean kind of eyeing each other and shit like that because i'm observant of where i'm at and if i notice some shit i'm getting fuck out the way you know what i'm saying because if you're stupid enough to stand there just to see if somebody go clash or something and you get hit, that's on you. So at the end of the day, you got to just be aware. It, it can go down anywhere. It don't matter if it's in the streets, it's at a fucking fast food joint, a sneaker store, clothes. It don't matter. If niggas, I've seen gun battles in malls. So what I'm saying is I wouldn't expect those type of people that's everyday citizens and, you know, blah, whatever, to understand that situation, right? Because it's two different demographics. So... I would say that they right, and I would say yeah. that the street niggas is right. As far as what I feel about the whole overall situation, I kind of believe it's karma. I mean, you look at what Troy Ave did, you know, and a lot of things he's done in his career, as far as dissing other artists and things of that nature, and I believe in karma. You know what I mean? I feel like his music is cool. I kind of like his music. You know, I'm, I'm, I can say I'm a fan of him, but I think the Capital Steez thing is just karma. You know, and I knew off top that wasn't a good thing. I'm not saying that this situation has anything to do with him dissing, you know, Joy Badass Man and all that, but the karma is karma, bro. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I can't place judgment on what the fuck he did. 
I can't say that's stupid. I can't say that was ignorant. That was smart. I'm not in that man's shoes, so I don't know what was going on behind the scenes a week ago, a month ago. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know none of that. So I can't speak on that situation. You feel me? But nobody can judge a situation if you can't put yourself in that man's shoes. Put yourself in his shoes. What would you have done? You feel me? That's what you gotta start looking at with certain shit. You know what I mean? You gotta just instead of just say, "Ah, oh, he dumb. He dumb as fuck." All right. So if you in a situation. And that's you. What would you do? That's your brother. Nigga, just let it go. Bam, you see your brother drop. You got it on you. You gonna dip? You gonna leave the situation there and, and wait and go and handle it in the streets? But you know the whole bravado of being a street nigga, and that's considered pussy if you had it on you and didn't let it go. That's the main thing that I think a lot of fans and consumers are getting caught up in, where it's like, he is savage for letting it go, but... Others be like, oh, if he didn't, he a pussy. So was he really doing that tough guy shit where he in a situation where I got to do it? I mean, this is nothing. We seen Shine let that motherfucker go in a club, nigga, in a situation that ain't had shit to do with that nigga. You know what I mean? So this didn't shock me when I seen this. Like, we see this shit all Why day people on blowing this shit out of proportion. We seen robberies. We seen gun battles. You know what I mean? All type of shit. On fucking World Star, on these platform so why is it such a big deal because a rapper did it you know they looking at it like oh he's an artist and he's supposed to be making money he should be thinking clearer than that true but he's still a human fucking being at the end of the day you know what i mean you know how artists say oh i don't got bodyguards and all that shit you see them with 60 niggas and you look under their shirt and they got because they're their own you know what i'm saying protector or whatever the case may be so i can't speak on that shit but it's just like it's a different element where even if you grew up in the hood, not every nigga in the hood is a street nigga. From what he portrayed, I would hope he was to go let it go. But to me, the camera, it don't really look like Troy Ave. You know what I mean? It Call me dumb, but it does, but then it doesn't. Because maybe it's the lighting in, in the situation, in the club, and the camera. But it's like the nigga look light-skinned. But you can tell it's kind of him. You see the blood on the pants, I know. But at the end of the day, who knows? But... I can't say that he was wrong or right, but I mean, we've seen this in hip hop so many fucking times with artists that do shit like that. And the crazy thing is, everybody that talk about him and say he'll whack rapper have nothing to say about his music, won't speak on that. But this incident, everybody's trying to go in on him. I thought that shit was hilarious. Like, why is his name ringing alarms? Like, when he do interviews and talk about music, niggas don't give a fuck. But it's just like when artists do dumb shit, y'all want to talk about that and bash him and say this and that or root for him. But when he doing something positive that's putting out an album, doing videos and shit, y'all, oh, he wacky garbage. Why is he an artist? Well, if a nigga come from the streets and he ain't rap and he don't make it in rap, what are you going to do? He going to reform back to that. So it kind of don't make sense to me when people say that shit. Like, you don't want him to rap? Well, he doing this type of shit. That's all he will be doing if he wasn't rapping. But he wouldn't be known, so nobody would give a fuck. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just a weird thing to me. But it's just like, man, we don't know to, to the extent of what's going on. So at the end of the day, we, we as the public have to wait till the whole entire story gets, you know, broadcast and they get all the evidence out. But do I think he going to jail? Of course. You had a gun. That's just rap. Like, you out of here for at least three. You feel me? But I guess it'll add some fucking wait to his name and as y'all say clear up some of those L's and give him a W for whatever reason but I just look at it as a person defending himself. If you ever been in a situation where you've seen shit like that happen you understand the situation. You know what I'm saying? But if you grew up in the suburbs or a fucking cul-de-sac or whatever that's no knock to you but you wouldn't understand that situation. You feel me? So for anybody that grew up in the era you know what I mean and grew up in seeing some real shit and doing some real shit you understand the situation you don't have to speak on it but I just thought I'd get my two cents on it I've seen a lot of shit in my time and it's like I can understand that situation it's crazy all the movies we idolize you know what I mean from all the gangster flicks and everything like that Scarface and shit and all that you've seen how that era of 80s in Miami get in but yet he does that and oh my god it's confusing to me like wait what so that's why I was like I don't want to go too far into it, but I didn't understand that. Like, wait, what? That's light compared to what, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, what are y'all talking about? Like, really? That type shit? All right.
You know what I mean? They blow that shit out of up. You got niggas going in and a Batman premiere. That's fucking crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with the streets. But this shit is just like, y'all... And that's sad, too, and this is, too, but at the same time, just certain shit with shit, it'd be like, you know, I know that Batman premiere ain't got nothing to do with this, but I'm just saying, the shit y'all idolize, Scarface or all these El Chapo, all these type of cartel motherfuckers, they do worse shit, and we've seen, if you go watch some documentaries, when they had the uh, the uh, little shootout in the mall down in Miami, Florida, or whatever the case may be, massacre, you feel me? But that's not rap, but at the same time, it's, if you drug dealing and y'all did the shit y'all idolize, right? Everybody want to be motherfucking Scarface and shit, but then this little incident from whatever the case may be, y'all blood out of proportion. Y'all crazy, man, but, I mean, Gucci out, so, I mean, niggas make jokes. Uh, Troy went in, Gucci came out, so it's an even exchange. You niggas is wild, bro. I'm out of here, man.